what's your opinion of salespeople? When I've asked this question of audiences, or when I've been asked sitting in an audience, the overwhelming perspective of salespeople is negative. And that's a bad thing. Because if you are in speaking, you're in sales. Your first reaction to that might be, well, I'm not selling anything. I'm, I'm not selling any product or service. You are selling an idea. I don't care what your topic is. It might be meditation, peacefulness, mindfulness, better health, uh, financial security. It doesn't matter what your topic is. You're selling an idea. The potential of a better way of life or hope. You've heard me say that in earlier tips. Let's discount this idea that you're not a salesperson. You've been selling since you were a baby. Before you could form words, you were selling your parents on the idea that you had a full diaper, that you were thirsty, or you needed to eat. You used sounds that they eventually picked up on and answered your request. When you were just a little kid, you sold your parents on the idea of that toy you had to have or why you didn't want to take a bath or go to bed. As a teenager, why you, you needed to go out with your friends or drive the car for the night. And then as an adult, you sold your, your friends, your partners, lovers, friends, co-workers on all kinds of ideas. So you are in sales. You just don't have a business card that has that word on it. Why am I telling you this? Because as a speaker, you have to accept the fact that you're, you're in sales. If you don't, I don't believe you can speak with the conviction and passion that you need to get your ideas across. You'll always hold back because you don't want to feel like you're pushing something on people that they don't want or need. Well, if that's the case, why are you up there speaking in the first place? If you're up talking to a group, you have something of value. If you've been asked to speak by an organization, there's a reason. They see true value in what you have to offer. So get up there and sell the idea. You do that and you will fulfill your obligation as a speaker. Are you a salesperson? Absolutely. Now go out there and sell your ideas. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.